Hey guys, today instead of painting a lure, I thought we'd take a minute and I'm going to show you how to make your own stencils so you can put your own markings on the side of your blanks. Stick with me. Now it's really not going to take a lot for you to make your own stencils. One thing you're going to need is a heat gun. Uh, I know some guys probably use blow dryers for drying their paint. I use a heat gun. You will need that. You'll need a shop vac, and after that, we're going to have to build a box. Now, basically, this is about 10 inches square, made out of some 1x4 uh, pegboard, 8th inch pegboard. In this case, I didn't have pegboard, I had the solid stuff, so I went ahead and just drilled the holes in. I didn't want to have to run all the way to town for pegboard. And even at that, at 10 inches square, you can see I put a little tape around here to bring the size down just a little bit. The only key to this box, you need a hole drilled in one side, and that hole has to fit the hose on your shop back. Because what we're going to do is we're going to shrink down the plastic, we're going to heat it up with a heat gun, and we're going to use the shop back to shrink down the plastic so we can make our stencils. Now, set up for that, we're going to go with a 2.5 square bill. That's what I'm going to use. And what you end up having to do is take one of your lures and cut it in half. So what I've done is I've taken one of my 2.5s. I went out to my shop and I use a Dremel tool with a cutoff blade and basically I just cut it right in half so that way you get the two halves so that way they will lay nice and flat on top of the box. Alright, I'm going to move this whole thing over to the workbench and I'll show you how we make the stencil. Alright, here we go. We got the box here. I've got my shop back hooked up to it. So we're going to take our lure halves we're just going to lay two of these down. We can do two at a time. As far as plastic, what I use for that, here's a piece, um, Hobby Lobby, and they have blank stencil plastic where people can go home and draw their own stencils. So you can buy this in sheets. You can see I've cut this one down. So we're going to take this, just lay it right over the top. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take the heat gun, we're going to heat it up, and once it starts getting a little soft and pliable, then I'm going to hit the shop back. So, you probably are not going to be able to hear much of anything once I get all that going, so that's why I want to explain what I'm doing now. But we're going to take the heat gun, we'll soften it up, and once that starts to get a little softer, I'll kick on the shop back quick. Here we go. Just keep moving that heat gun around. There you go. See it softening up? And there we are. Popped right out. Now all I have to do is cut around this a little bit. And then the key is once it gets all hardened up good, that'll slip right inside. And there you go. With just that piece of plastic, you can draw your lines in. But you know what? You don't even have to do Hobby Lobby. Let's try this. I've done this before. Let's see if this works. Here's another piece of plastic. And this one, you got a little curve to it. And the reason is, it came off a gallon milk jug. All right? So that's a piece of plastic off a gallon milk jug. Let's see how this one works. A little thicker, so it's going to take a little more to get it pliable. We're starting. Here we go. Yeah. 
Now Liz, that one's picking back up. I got to have one good one here. Yep. Let me pop that out. That side came out okay. This side it popped back up on me. But that side came out okay. I mean that's just milk jug plastic. So get your regular stencil plastic and then once you've got it, let me grab, see I got the scissors here. Because then all I'm going to do after that, once I got it in there, is just cut it off. And you can cut off some of the extra stuff. You don't need all the extra stuff on there. Now, what I will do, take your half of your lure that you have here left. And what I would probably do, and I'm just, I'm going to use a marker here, but I think I would use black paint. I would use your black Createx paint. And the reason is, the, great, the black paint, you can go back with water and wash it off. So I can draw a pattern on here now. Then with the black paint, I can wash it off and do another one. The markers sometimes tend to stay. But let's say we're just putting our down lines in. I would go ahead and mark my down lines the way I'm going to want them. You want to space them where you want to space them, or however you want to space them. Let's say we're doing this way. All right, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my two halves together because I want to make sure when I do the other side, I'm doing them in the same spot. All right, now I'll come back on this side. I'll draw my down lines just like I did before. Now, by putting them on here, now when you come back in your stencil, now I can see them. I can see those marks. Not sure how well you'll be able to see that. There's my marks. I can now come back on my stencil, draw those in, and there we go. Now I can go ahead on that. I can take a Dremel tool or an X-Acto knife, cut those out, and now when I'm painting, when I'm ready to go, all I got to do is set that on my lure, hit it, and my marks are going to show up. Now, let's say we're going to do a we put the straight lines on, and like I said, that's not going to come, the paint would come off, but let's stick that on. Let's say we wanted to do a crawl pattern. And I'm going to come down here like this, and I'm going to curve for a crawl pattern. The key is, when you make your next one, don't necessarily touch this. And here's the reason why. Okay, there's a rough crawl pattern. If I would have connected this all the way over, this whole piece of plastic is only going to be attached at the top. It's going to be flapping around. By not quite going all the way and just cutting those out later, it makes your stencil a lot more secure. Uh, so when you're painting, you won't get this piece picking up and paint going underneath it. Well, there you go, guys. That's all it takes to make your own stencil. Just take your lure, cut it in half. Now, I will say... If you have the Spro's Little John style, which is the flat-sided, or let's say you're working with the lipless crankbait that is flat-sided, it's possible you may be able to take those, put those down without cutting them in half and trying them that way. These are two that I have not made a stencil for as of yet, but before I cut one in half, I'd probably try setting one down and doing it whole because the sides are flat. That's all it takes. That'll get you a stencil. Make things a little bit easier painting when you're trying to put on those crawl patterns or something like that. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.